This is Sherry at djsundry.blogspot.com and today I have a super simple project to make. I needed a little birth or a baby card and so I decided to just quickly make one and I decided to put a little bit of stuff into it and just get going on it. So let's get started. I have pulled everything I need. I'm going to be using my Ranger Black Archival Ink Inject Black. Of course I'm going to need my bold bone folder. I'm using my punch. I believe this is a two inch punch. I'm not 100% sure, but it fit my stamp. So I'm going to use that. I may or may not be using my foam tape. I believe this is tape that I picked up from Walmart, just the Elmer's tape. And I really like it. I may not use it. I may just use adhesive, but we'll see. I used in one little spot, and I've already pre-done this. I used um, Victorian Velvet Distress Ink, and I'll show you in a minute where. Um, from close to my heart, I use the frames, tags, and borders, which is part of the package that you get with the Art Philosophy cartridge. And I used one stamp in it, or I will be using one. I haven't done it yet. Um, I have these old cutter, cuddle bug embossing folders. And that doesn't really help you see it. Um, this one, this is from the It's a Girl set. And I don't know how well you can see that, but this is actually a little umbrella. Um, with a heart on it and I use that just to emboss it and then I am using Nana's Kids and from that I am using this pretty striped paper that's got some glitter on it and different pinks and greens obviously this is for a little girl and so I just wanted to do a super quick card so let's get started on it so I have pre-cut my paper. Now my card base is cut from Recollections um, Pink, and this is from the Soda Pop collection. And I just cut an eight inch card by four inches wide, and then I've already scored it, and let's just fold it over. Now, as far as the stamping, the only thing that I've done so far on the stamping is on the back I went ahead and put my um, and very lightly, you can barely see it using the Victorian Velvet. It has my, my blog name and my YouTube name. So that is that piece. Now I'm going to use my We Are Memory Keepers Crocodile Corner Chomper. And I'm going to use the wider edge. And we are going to cut, which is the 3 8 inch in this um, particular cartridge. And we're going to corner round the two bottom pieces. Um, I had to change the blade in my cutter because it's cutting a little bit rough. So again, this this is going to just be a simple 4x4 four four card. I'm not going to put it in an envelope. I'm just going to put it in the gift bag and call it good. And then I have cut from my Nana's Kids mat, mat stack, I have cut this piece um, 3 and 3 quarter inch squared. And again, I'm going to round the corners, but just the bottom corners. Not doing anything at all with the top corner. And that is going to go like that. Now, I've noticed that I've had some trouble with my corner chomper, and I have run foil through it. That didn't really seem to help it that much. But I've I've tried, and it still cuts okay. Sometimes I just have to trim off some of the white spots. And that's just going to fit right there. So let's grab my ATG and just get that adhered down. Now I'm not going to be putting a sentiment or anything on the inside. The only sentiment I'm going to be doing is on the outside of the card itself. And so you'll see that in just a few minutes here. Um, let's just adhere this piece down right there in the center. Oops. Don't want to mess that up. There we go. Just like that. So I'm going to set this aside and we'll come back to that. Now this is the piece, um, this piece is actually three and a half inches square. And what I did is I already pre-embossed my little um, umbrella down here. It's just kind of a subtle, nice touch. And again, just like the other pieces, I want to use my corner rounder and round the corners. Just like that. Just round that off, just like that. Okay, now I could go ahead and adhere this, but actually I'm just going to set that aside and we will come back to that and we're going to work on our stamped piece. So let me grab a piece of pink. 
here. I tried this in a few different colors. I tried um, my Jitty Bolin in cough syrup and that didn't really match. That was too red. And I tried the um, Victorian Velvet and that was just too um, light. I didn't, it was too subtle. So I decided we're just going to go with good old fashioned archival black ink. And that makes it nice and easy. I'm just gonna stamp that down. Being on camera sometimes it's a little bit hard to make sure I've got the right angle here. And I'm gonna go ahead and wipe up my stamp, let that dry for just a minute. Um, because I, I do really like that crisp black image that it gives. It will definitely be a contrast to the rest of my card, which is why I kind of wanted to go with a more subtle color before, but I do like the clean, crisp um, contrast that gives. Um, and then I'll just center that inside of my little um, punch here. It's like I should have actually, let's re-stamp that because I didn't leave enough room to truly center it. So let me grab that again. Let's try that again. Didn't quite leave myself enough space. Now this archival black ink does such a lovely job. Um, I have not been overly successful at always getting it off of my stamps when I'm done. Now I know this is upside down, but it won't matter. But I, I guess um, if I used if I was better about using stamp cleaner, it would probably work even better. I'm not so good about using stamp cleaner, but you know, as long as the stamps continue to work, I really don't mind if they're stained. And like I said, stamp cleaner would probably get it off a little bit better. Okay, let's try that again, see if I can get it centered a little bit better. And there we go. There we have our little medallion here, just like that. Let's see for congratulations. I'll set that aside and now we're going to put our card done together. Can you believe we're almost done here? Now, the next thing that I um, have here is I have from American Crafts, I have these two glitter tapes. One is in pink and one is in green. And um, I this package of glitter tapes that I got. I believe there were 24 of them, maybe, maybe only 12. I can't remember. But the, I got them um, from somewhere like Peachy Cheap or something like that. And I really, really like them. This is my first experience just in the last few days of using the glitter tapes. And I have to say, I am really impressed. I just like the, um, they, they go together so quickly and they're so pretty. They really add that extra dimension to the project. So I'm just going to use that right up on the edge. And I'm careful because I don't really want to waste any of it. So I try not to have to pre-cut it if I can avoid it. So there's my first one. And I'm going to come back in and use my second one. Starting a new roll sometimes is difficult for me here. Oops, definitely didn't mean to do that. Sorry about that, guys. I should have pre-opened it here. They're really not difficult. I just sometimes I'm a little bit challenged. Now, I think rather than leave a space between them, I think I'm going to butt them right up to each other just like that. Isn't that pretty? really bright and sparkly. Now the gift bag that I bought um, for this baby gift, I didn't make one this time. And the one, the gift bag that I bought is a Tweety Bird. I just picked it up at my Walmart and it's really bright and colorful. So there we have our first little bit there. Now there is a little bit of forgiveness there in picking it up because I hadn't pressed it too hard. And that pink almost doesn't look quite as wide but I think it's going to be okay. So now I just have to decide where I want to put my congratulations and I think I'm going to put it right about there and I think I will go ahead and just pop that up. Now I know that kind of leaves on the bottom. It leaves a little space that has blank space and I'm really okay with that. Um, this is just a simple card. You know not everything has to take a lot of time. 
Now I'm just removing this paper, and that was probably off camera, I apologize. Um, but before I actually adhere that on, it will be easier if I go ahead and put this part onto my card so that I don't have to worry about um, smashing it down. I'm just going to center that right there. Make sure I've got my C right side up. Maybe I'll even come down just a tad and show that green a little bit more. Now I'm not mailing this, so I'm definitely not worried about the dimension because it's just going right in the gift bag. So there we have it. Congratulations. And I didn't do anything to really finish off the inside this time. Um, I'm just going to just leave it as is. Maybe what I could do, um, and what I well let's let's go ahead and just add let's see I put the green on top on the outside why don't we put the pink on top here let's go ahead I mean on the bottom that would be kind of actually I'm going to put the green on the bottom and the pink on top because I don't need a lot of room to write my sentiment because I'm just going to basically say congratulations and a couple other things. So since I don't need a lot of room, we'll just add a little bit more interest and dimension in there. And I'll go back in and trim that off in just a minute. Okay. And just trim and on this side trim. There we go. That just provides a little finishing touch right there. Just like that. So there we have it. Our congratulations. And then at the bottom here, and that'll give me plenty of room to write my little bit of a sentiment. And actually, let's see if it's how stuck it is. If it's really stuck, I won't move it. But if it's not too bad, yeah, I'll be able to move it. Down. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to move it right to the top of the curb. Oops, I didn't get that straight. Sometimes I just can't leave well enough alone, can I? Alright. Sorry about that, guys. All right, there we go. So now we have our finished card. So thanks for stopping by today, and remember to take some time to enjoy the little things. Have a great day.